All right, I've got a question. I've got a sincere question for Mormons. How is it that you can go to a church or go to a temple that has pentagrams on them? Okay. How can you be involved in a church that allows satanic symbols to be on their temple? Okay. Um, I don't see the logic in that. Um, and I understand I've talked to many Mormons and they say, no, that's, they're actually Christian symbols and they um, repeat their apologetics that um, define their origin. They deny the fact that an upside down pentagram is a demonic symbol. Well, you can look at the Satanic Bible. You can see the artwork on many modern day satanic rock and roll bands and you can see the same symbol the upside down pentagram is a universal demonic symbol but yet for some reason uh, Mormons allow those symbols to be placed on their temples and then defend them when questioned about it maybe this is the reason why they're the Mormons allow pentagrams to be placed on their temples. Perhaps there's a link. The symbol on the outside is an indication as to what goes on on the inside. Um, if they have satanic imagery on the outside of the temples, perhaps there's satanic activity on the inside of the temple. Okay, well, correct me if I'm wrong, because I've never been inside of a Mormon temple. But I've talked to many people, and I've heard that they do uh, baptisms for the dead, that they do um, these rituals where they um, do their whatever it is and then they uh, do what they call oaths. They um, recite these bloody oaths where they go through the motions of slitting their throat and slitting their bowels um, if they reveal the secrets of what goes on inside the temple. Um, I know they do ceremonies where they um, basically exalt or celebrate uh, the fall of man. Um, I could go on and on, um, but all of those activities are very reminiscent of paganism, Babylonian paganism. I know a lot of it is a copycat from a lot of the rituals and rites performed by Freemasonry. All right, I went a searching on the web to find reasons why Mormons allow the uh, pentagrams and the upside down stars to be placed on their temple. And this is what I found, and this is from a warm Mormon website. Star stones are found all over the temple, like on keystones above corner tower windows and above the lower set of windows on the walls. They are reminders of the pillars of heaven and the glory of God and of the celestial kingdom. Whatever that means. <laughs> Um, then it goes to talk about the pentagrams and the upside down stars or the stars that are pointing downwards. It says the stars pointing downwards represent the reception of truth from the heavens and also, also the priesthood. Uh, it goes on to say that the lost may find themselves according to the temple architect Truman O. Angel or Angle, whatever, however you spell his name. Um, I find that statement that says that the lost may find themselves um, as a reason for the, putting the stars, the upside down stars on the temple, I found that very revealing, very telling. That the lost may find themselves. And so what you're telling me is that uh, the upside down star, the pentagram, is a rallying point, a symbol for the lost, that they may collect themselves and find themselves in the Mormon temple? Come on. Uh, well, that's according to the temple architect, Truman O. Angel. And you can Google that yourself and figure it out. Um, according to Freemasonry, the upside-down star, the um, pentagram is called the Baphomet. B-A-P-H-O-M-E-T. Look it up. It's the goat of the Mendez. And it was indeed a common medieval form of the word Mahomet. That's spelled M-A-H-O-M-E-T. And that not only meant false prophet, but also demon. Okay, And you can find that in the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, 
page 124. All right, I'm not making this stuff up, folks. It's freaky, it's creepy. Uh, the Mormon church embraces and allows pentagrams, symbols that are obviously satanic and demonic, to be placed on their temples. So if you're good with having satanic symbols, pentagrams, on your temple, I question your judgment.